Okay guys, so once you've installed the plugin, the first thing you need to do is create your Facebook app. Now, this is quite simple, uh, so don't worry, and I'm gonna talk you through exactly how to do it now. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Facebook developers site. So that's developers.facebook.com. And then you need to click on apps and you need to create a new app. So click there and then give your app a name and you can give it a namespace and category if you want, but I don't think it's important. So for the name, this is going to show up every time this is going to show up on Facebook groups that you post to whenever an auto posted message appears. So you don't want to put anything that, you know, will make your messages look spammy here. So I just tend to put something like my FB helper or, you know, just something like Facebook help or you don't, you don't, basically you don't want to be putting something like auto poster or something like that because, you know, if, if people see messages popping up with auto poster on, they might think you're spamming. So just, you know, it doesn't really matter, but just try not to make your name look like your app is a spam application or anything like that. Okay guys, so you, once you've got this screen up, you need to change a few of these settings. Um, so you've got, you should have your name, and you might have a namespace and you're gonna stick a contact email in there as well. Um, you now need to choose the domain that you want to use this on. Okay, so I'm doing this for a, a vegetarian recipe site that I'm wanting to promote. So I put my domain veggierecipes.net in there and then I stick the full URL. You've got to stick that in here. Um, I think that's up. That's it for this page. Uh, you can stick it in sandbox mode there as well if you want. That means only you, this app will only be visible to you. Um, okay, so once you've done that, head over to permissions, and then you need to do the following settings. So keep this on none. Put select user groups for this one. So you just type it in and then, you, so hang on, I'll show you. So if you do user, then you see, you can select it like that. And then do the same for manage underscore pages and publish stream. And then stick this on query string. And then once you've done that, you save the changes. Okay guys, so once you've configured the permissions, that's your Facebook app pretty much set up. So we'll just head back to the basic there and then we've got, our, we need to make note of our app ID and our app secret. Now, this is because we now need to head over to our WordPress admin dashboard and we need to put that app secret and the app ID into these two boxes. So get your app ID and stick it in here and then get your app secret and stick it in there and then save changes. Now, make sure you get them exactly right. You don't wanna make any mistakes when you put these in because that could cause some major problems. So make sure they're absolutely correct. I recommend just copying and pasting direct from this page onto this one. Okay, so once you've done that, you also need to select your time zone. So this is just a drop down menu in here and select whichever time zone you're in. Uh, and one final thing with the time zone is to make sure you take account of daylight saving time. Once you have entered your app secret and your app ID and you've started using the plugin, you will get a pop-up box appearing and that's from Facebook asking you to confirm permissions for your app. So make sure you do that. Also, I'm sure a lot of you have probably got your browser set to block pop-ups. So look for an icon or a little message from your browser. So I think in Firefox it appears at the top here saying that it is set, it is currently blocking pop-ups. So just click the, the message to allow 
the browser to display pop-ups from this site and that will just allow the Facebook dialog box to appear and allow you to give permission um, to the app. If you if you don't do this, you will get error messages. So make sure you've give you've seen that pop up box and you've given those permissions. Um, I think in also in Chrome, if if we just look at Chrome here, um, I think the you don't get a message like that up here. I think you just get a little X appearing in the address bar here, um, and that's indicating that it's blocking messages. So make sure if you're using Chrome to look out for that little X and allow pop-ups so that you can allow those um, the Facebook app the permissions that it wants. Okay guys, so now that your app's all set up, we now need to do cron. Now, cron's very simple. All you need to do is you take this command here and copy it. So this will, what this is will just depend on, you know, your website domain and how you have things set up. So whatever appears here, just copy it and then head over to your C panel and then you need to click cron jobs. Um, okay, so then all you need to do is paste that command in here um, and you want to have it for every minute. So just click every minute in this comment settings stick your command in there and then click add new current job.